Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, we are going to deal with the subject that is blood. I will be uploading a series on hematology. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon. Let's begin. The topic is blood. Blood is a connective tissue in fluid form. Properties of blood. First one is the color. Blood is red in color. Arterial blood is scarlet red because it contains more oxygen and venous blood is purple red because of more carbon dioxide. Second volume. The average volume of blood is 5 liters. In newborn it is 450 ml and in females it is 4.5 liters. pH. Blood is slightly alkaline in nature with 7.4 pH. Viscosity. Blood is 5 times more viscous than water that is due to RBC and the plasma proteins. Now the composition of blood. Blood contains the blood cells which are called the formed elements and the liquid portion known as plasma. Three types of cells are present in blood. Erythrocytes, leukocytes and the thrombocytes. To know the percentage of composition, blood is collected in a hematocrit tube with suitable anticoagulant and centrifuged for 30 minutes. At a speed of 3000 revolutions per minute, the red blood cells settle down at the bottom having a clear plasma at the top. The plasma forms 55% and the red blood cells form 45%. The volume of red blood cells expressed in percentage is called hematocrit value or packed cell volume. Functions of blood. First function, the respiratory function. Transport of respiratory gases is done by the blood. It carries oxygen from the alveolar of the lungs to different tissues and carbon dioxide from tissues to the alveoli. Second, the nutritive function. Nutritive substances like glucose, amino acids, lipids and vitamins which are derived from the digested food are absorbed from gastrointestinal tract and carried by blood to different parts of the body for growth and production of energy. Glucose, amino acids and lipids. Third function, the excretory function. Waste products formed in the tissues during various metabolic activities are removed by blood and carried to excretory organs such as kidneys, digestive system, intestines and the lungs. Fourth function, transport of hormones and enzymes. The hormones which are secreted by ductless glands are released directly into the blood. The blood transports these hormones to their target tissues and organs. Blood also transports the enzymes. Fifth, regulation of water balance. Water content of the blood is freely interchangeable with the interstitial fluid. This helps in the regulation of water content of the body. Sixth, regulation of acid-base balance. The plasma proteins and hemoglobin act as buffers and help in regulation of acid-base balance. Seventh, regulation of body temperature. Because of high specific heat of blood, it is responsible for maintaining the thermoregulatory mechanism in the body. Eighth, the storage function. Water and some important substances like glucose, sodium, potassium are constantly required by tissues and hence present in blood. Defensive function. Blood plays important role in defensive function. The white blood cells and are responsible for this function. Let's do a quick revision. Blood is a connective tissue. Properties of blood are color. It is red in color. It is scarlet red and purple red. Volume is 5 liters, pH is 7.4 pH, viscosity is 5 times. Composition of blood. Blood is formed blood cells and plasma. 
that is erythrocytes, leukocytes and thrombocytes. Hematocrit, it is plasma is 55%, RBC is 45% and packed cell volume is nothing but the percentage of RBCs. Functions of blood, respiratory function, nutrient function, excretory function, transport of hormones and regulation of water balance and regulation of acid-base balance, regulation of body temperature, storage function and defensive function. Thank you for watching the video. Notes of Blood will be uploaded on Instagram. You can follow us at easyweasy 